We all want to be a part of something positive in our lifetime. Our common ground, if you will, is that we all are here to kind of support uh, the community that is Atlanta. And the Atlanta Track Club is in the midst of a project to bridge major gaps within the community through something called the Common Ground Benches. So the 50th running of the Peachtree was in 2019. That was going to include more than 60,000 people. And those 60,000 people were going to create a lot of plastic waste. So the plan was turn that plastic into park benches and then gift those park benches to area organizations, open green space where runners and walkers congregate. But when 2020 forced the race to be virtual and events unfolded around the country, the plan shifted to using the benches for conversations surrounding diversity, equity, and inclusion. The conversations that you have on these benches, where did those come from? In 2020, when Ahmaud Arbery was killed, we all recognized that he was murdered while running. That allowed our organization to step into a conversation uh, that was relevant for the running community. Now we have been able to kind of see through these conversations with running being that common ground thing, people recognizing that the experience of being able to do it is not the same for everyone. These conversations must happen to understand what is that baseline understanding. It's now time to, to really confront, uh, to have the conversations, to listen, to learn, to self-reflect. I appreciate that you're having this conversation um, and open to hearing the true dialogues and our experiences of not only running while being a minority, but living as a minority. The human race is very important and we have to make sure that the black browns are heard, are, are treated fairly. So I appreciate you doing that. And I'm glad that you have an eye to be able to notice that because there's a lot of people that turn a blind eye and act like that's not a problem. I think there's a little bit of uh, similarity there between running and taking on the issue of racism. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon and we're here for the long haul. Do you feel like in doing this, you've learned more about the runners specifically in this community? Yeah, I, I, I think I was probably much like you know many other middle-aged white men who thought they had this topic and their understanding of other people's reality sort of all set and framed up in their mind. And I was wrong. I've learned more in this last year than I did in my first 49 years. The folks who have been a part of these conversations uh, are looking to create a better Atlanta in terms of racial equality. Being able to be vulnerable to allow people that opportunity to understand why I am the way I am. You almost take a breath of fresh air to finally be seen.